sponsorship with Movie Making Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles Showroom in West Hollywood. And I'm here with lead actress Catherine Skelton, director Andrew Crabtree, and editor Joshua Cole with their movie Companion. Let's take a look at a clip. Guys, welcome and thank you very much for being here and congratulations on your film Companion. Thank you. Um, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Uh, Companion is a story of Jody, played by Katie here. Uh, it's a story of a woman who goes on a dangerous adventure hike uh, as a means to connect with her late fiance. And really is quite an epic journey as well. Right. Um, Catherine, I'm dying to hear more about what it was like for you. Well, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. It was a total blast. Like we were saying before, it was five friends in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it started in Silver Lake at a bar when Drew said, do, oh, do you? <laughs> well, it's Drew said, little, do you yeah. camp? And I said, no. And he was like, perfect. <laughs> so I hadn't really camped. And the mm -hmm. boys didn't. I mean, I was me. I was the lone girl. And it's not like they... Like, bef not while we were filming, but before that. They would just let me, like, figure out how to set up my tent and things. And I'm glad they did, because, like, I could figure it out. But I hadn't been camping. I had never built a fire. Um, so that part of it was really cool, because I was actually, like, in the movie, when I lit that fire, I was not act. I mean, I was acting, but yeah. I was also really genuinely, like, somewhere in my mind, is like, I just built that fire. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like, it's a very real fire. and a lighter. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I was so excited. Um, no, I had a total blast, like... 5 a.m. jumping into a river wow. was you, still yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, when no, you're with I mean, your friends. it's just to take, just to lead the whole film and, and, and really kind of let people understand, you know, like the challenges that, that took place and actually physically doing those challenges too, as well. You know, it was pretty incredible. Um, so I can only imagine it was a quite fun to edit, was it, Josh? Yes. Uh, it was also difficult because, you know, everything we've done, and I've worked with Drew for the last five, or more years yeah, yeah. has been all dialogue mm -hmm. and this is a movie that doesn't really have a lot of dialogue especially when we're out in the middle of Yosemite uh, you know kind of finding those moments of yeah. telling the story and telling the emotion without any dialogue but yeah it was so much fun because we had so much beautiful footage yeah. we had a, a, a plethora too much beautiful footage at yeah. Times, actually. yeah it must have been hard to sort of like oh that's a beautiful shot and that's a beautiful <laughs> shot and like what do I do yeah you know yeah. Um, well, what I, normally I ask the director and say, hey, so how did you come about your casting and your crew? But you've all come from a higher university. It's true. Good memory. Yeah. We love the Midwesterns <laughs> in, in, I know, right? It's just craziness. Um, no, we love having the Midwesterns over here and doing fantastic things. But what's it like as a, as a team when you've all gone to university together and you're all making a film together? And that's got to be fun working with your friends, isn't it? It is fun. It's, yeah. it's a really fun group of people that are out here doing this. And I think a lot of other schools are similar and like a lot of other people you sort of start to find it really it's it's more a matter of finding people who have like similar goals right mm -hmm. it's like no one gets paid to do projects like this you know so it's like hey do you want to make a short film yes okay cool do you, are you willing to do it for free are you willing to do it nights and weekends like hey katie are you willing to call off work for four or five days yeah. to go up to yosemite and be in the mud for a while with us like <laughs> but these are these things that when you don't have money and you're looking at doing a project where literally, I mean, every person that I spoke to, uh, it was a five, five people were in Yosemite with us. And every person that I talked to, including Katie, I was like, listen, here's what we're doing. I'm going up to Yosemite and I'm camping. I, we don't have, like, we're charging things in our cars. <laughs> we don't have, like, trucks or outlets or anything like that. 
if that sounds cool to you and fun, then sweet, come with us. This is gonna be really fun. And if it's not, like, this is just me being completely open with you about what we're trying to do. And everyone I talked to was like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Like, what a fun way to go and make a film. Yeah. And uh, a, a friend of ours was running audio up in Yosemite. His name's Andrew. And he's not, like, a professional audio guy. He's a friend of mine who was like, wait, free trip to Yosemite? <laughs> yeah, cool, I'll come. Nice. And so he was just hanging out with us. Very lucky. Um, you know, one thing we, we don't often, and I think it's very important, we don't often um, get editors in the studio. And I, I, I love the fact, you know, Josh, you're here today because I think people miss uh, the misunderstanding that, you know, e you know, there's a team of editors on these big productions. So, you know, people that want to become an editor and what's it like having to sort of like, you know, edit an, an entire film? Like, what, what is that experience okay. like? And uh, what are kind of your challenges that you face when you're making it? Uh, well, I was really lucky that Drew and I, we've been friends for almost 10 years, mm -hmm. and we've made a bunch of things together. So we had a common language, so I can read the script, I can see the footage, and I knew kind of what he wanted to make. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of challenges on this film specifically because we did have three shoot days that were very separate, very, uh, uh, you know, we shot in August or September, the bulk of the film, and then we went back in January, I think, and shot the rest In a of completely it. different completely wilderness different, location. Yeah, and then, uh, so we had a cut of the film that was almost done. Well, two thirds of the material was done, and we had to like splice in these other scenes from other movies and title cards and wow. uh, <laughs> shooting at my house on my phone. <laughs> with Drew and uh, our the pre Patrick. aforementioned Patrick playing Katie, I believe. <laughs> yeah, uh, just shooting these scenes just so we can try to at least plug in the rhythm because for me. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was really difficult to edit the film without all the material because, yeah. uh, you know, we had these flashbacks that motivated the next scene mm -hmm. and motivated her emotional journey through the film. And without mm -hmm. those moments, I had nothing. I, had, you know, or I knew I would have to go back and change everything. So you did have some challenges, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had challenges. And, you know, for a movie that had no dialogue, we had to kind of like, how do we motivate leaving this moment? Is yeah. it, do we have her walk away? Or do we, you know, there's the moment where the, we cut the berries and the yeah. berries fall. And then yeah. we slam to the next scene by having her do the same motion. And, yeah. and a, a lot of challenges of moving through, how do we go from one montage to the next scene? And how do we show that it's not a montage anymore, that we're actually in a moment where she's trying to figure out what she's going to be doing. Well, I say this in quite a lot of interviews. Always be kind to your editor because they always make you look good. All right? It's, it's essentially, right? Isn't yeah. that right, Catherine? Yes, absolutely. Um, Catherine, like, what a journey as an actress to, you know, it, to not just take the lead, but just take, take the film, you know, yeah. in, your, in your hands. Um, what kind of did you learn from the experience of, of Making Companion? Ooh, good question. What did I learn from the experience? Um, I trust Drew completely. <laughs> <laughs> good team. I mean, yeah. really good team at a yeah. film like this. Like I, it was a it was a lot of like, you know. Of course, I read the script, and of course, I would do anything with my friends. But mm -hmm. then I did it, and it was a little bit like, oh, I don't care, but I can like make it look like someone. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I can. It was a little bit of like pat myself on the back a little yeah, bit. Like yeah, I yeah. can do it. I also, I mean, there's no dialogue. It's a lot. We had to shoot out of order because mm -hmm. we're in Yosemite and like mm -hmm. the sun. And so it was a lot of like Drew and Katie side huddles. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it really, it was a lot of like trust your thoughts, trust your gut. You don't have to speak to be interesting. Like yeah. that I learned, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that's right. And that's an a very important as an, act, as an yeah. actress, you know, to sort of understand that being as well. Um, now, obviously you've, you've had quite a journey and you've, you've moved things, fixed things, changed things. What's it like after all of your hard work that you've done to have your film officially selected for for new filmmakers, Los Angeles. It's really cool. I mean, it's the short film market is so interesting and difficult, frankly, because there's so much of it and there's so little that measures it in any, in any manner. So to be able to screen it for an audience is really nice. I mean, I, I remember when we were we released this uh, publicly just to to the world, as it were, in the fall, and there was this part of me that realized, like, oh man, this is not what I would qualify as an internet-friendly film. And in the current like, climate of internet videos right now, right? Like it's not, it's 16 minutes long, God forbid. It's, you know, there's no dialogue. There's, it's not a comedy. There isn't like- It's not in space. It's not in space. There's no flashy stuff to it, right? So 
it's definitely more of a film as opposed to what a lot of the times has become this sort of climate of internet video. And so it's nice to have a venue like this to be able to show it in a more appropriate uh, space for what it is, which is really nice. So, um, well, you d I mean, it's it's very good when you can, you know, in 16 minutes or so, you can actually take people on a journey and, you know, fall in fall into your zone and fall into your character and just kind of escape. Mm -hmm. And when you can do that, you know, in a short film narrative is, is, is incredible, really. And you guys certainly did that job. I was just watching. I was like, I was with you. I was with you watching <laughs> that film. I'm like, oh, you can climb that rock or that little <laughs> block, whatever it was that you were yeah. disguising as an actress. Um, this congratulations on Companion. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, and congratulations on being selected. And we're very excited Thanks, to see yeah. more of your film. And out, um, um, we'll be a big shout out to Ohio University because you brought these guys <laughs> yeah, to us. Okay. So, so yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.